guys, Wells Knight here, bringing another episode in my 15-minute build series. And in this one, we are going to be building this super awesome alchemy station or potion brewing area right here. It's kind of an outdoor garden type deal. Uh, basically, for this, you will need a 12 by 12 area. You'll need the materials you see in my bar below and uh, a few other things but not much so let's go ahead and get right to it we'll put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now all right so first thing you want to do is hollow out a 12 by 12 area so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let me just double check that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I went one too many. Well, that's alright. This actually will get filled in with nether wart anyway, so it's not a big deal. Then you go ahead and fill that up with quartz. You technically don't have to fill up the very corners with quartz if you don't want to. If you're short, I realize that quartz is fairly difficult to get in survival mode. Then you're going to go ahead and bring that up four high. Put two spaces between each pillar. And bring those up as well. And one, two, three, four. 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 And all the way up, all the way around this little area. This is kind of modeled as a, uh, it, it's so, somewhat modeled after like Greek, ancient Greek architecture, like a, like the Pantheon and whatnot. Uh, but it also has kind of a modern feel to it with the roof, kind of a gazebo, outdoor garden-y type feel. I don't know. I, I, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted when I started building it, but I like how it came out. So, uh, put in one too many blocks there. Now, I think the easiest way to do the stairs is just go around all the way like so, going one direction. And then when you get to the other side, just switch directions, basically. These will form kind of the archways, like this. Then you just go the other way, like so. Oh, missed one. Oh, come on now. There we go. All right, so we've got the archways in just like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and hollow out this area right here. Just bring it all the way around. And then you'll want to hollow out this whole area as well. So we'll just break all of these. Now go ahead and take your dark oak planks and bring them around like so, but leave a gap between the wall and the dark oak planks because this will get filled up with water just like so there we go then you can go ahead and fill this in with the dark oak planks just like that you'll take a dark oak slab and put it there and there you can go ahead and break these blocks and put quartz there Oh, and there I do now, now that I messed that up, actually we don't need the dark oak planks anymore, so we'll put that there, okay, and we're going to go time set zero, okay, now next up, go ahead all around the structure, and hollow out an area for the soul sand and nether wart that will grow. And we'll go ahead and put that down right away as well. Just like this. There 
we go. So that's good. We don't need that anymore. We'll take these fence posts and put them up here. Just like that. We can then get do away with those. Now right here, uh, let's just put the glowstone in right away, I guess. Just to get it out of the way. Now go ahead and take your quartz stairs. And we're just going to go across. Oop. Can't aim. There we go. Go ahead, bring those across like so. And this will go all the way around the outside of this very top row. Just like this. And this will help give it a little bit of a more developed shape, which I like. All right, there we go. Now go ahead, take your brick stairs. And these will go all the way around the top, right on top of the quartz stairs that we just placed upside down. There we go. Oh, misplaced that one. That's all right. There we go. Now right here, go ahead and do another layer of quartz stairs. Or, I'm sorry, not quartz stairs, uh, brick stairs, I should say. I seem to have forgotten my Minecraft materials, but that's all right. And I'll just keep placing these until we form a nice ring all the way around. This is honestly probably easier to do from right here now that I think about it. There we go. So there's that. Now we're going to need some glass blocks. We're going to need some brick slabs and we're going to need some standard bricks as well. All around this edge, go ahead and put a ring of glass blocks, just like so. This is going to form that skylight that you see in the top to get some nice natural light in here during the day. There we go, and then go ahead and fill that in with glass blocks as well. So it will look like that. Now we need brick slabs and those are going to go all around this edge right here, the very top of the quartz upside down stairs. And we'll just bring those all the way around too. There we go. That's all done. Now we can do the inside. And what we'll do is we'll go here and here with quartz. We'll put this stuff away and grab... Uh, let's see. We need a brewing stand. We need a cauldron. And what else do we need? We need... Nether wart. Go ahead and close that. Let's do the nether wart first. Just goes in a ring all the way around in the soul stand that we in the uh, soul sand that we laid before. And this will give you a nice source of the nether wart, which of course you need for brewing pretty much all of the various potions available. We'll put a cauldron here and a cauldron here. Uh, if you're doing this in a survival mode, you may want to bypass this since you have water all the way around and the cauldron is really just for show, uh, but that's up to you. And then we've got the, the uh, actual brewing stands that go right there. And that's about it. So let's double check it, make sure it all looks good, that I didn't miss anything. 
And uh, it looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and call this one done at uh, about 9 minutes and 26 seconds or so. So there you go. Pretty fast build, but uh, kind of a cool one. I like this one a lot. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. It really helps keep me motivated to keep making videos. Uh, also, community interaction is obviously a lot more fun. Speaking of community interaction, if there's a specific build that you want to see me attempt within 15 minutes or less, put that in the comments. And if I choose your build, I will go ahead and give you a nice shout out when I actually do it. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I will definitely see you next time.